summertime is here and we all spend more time outdoors and that's the time when poison ivy can become more of an issue. Poison ivy is that old adage, leaves of three then let it be, and that's true. Poison ivy always comes with three leaflets. Now the shape of the leaves may vary. Some may have a complete or smooth margin, others may be lobed, and yet others could have several different shapes to them on the same leaf. So be aware that it does vary based on where it's growing. We also have poison oak in the state, but it's not as prevalent. Learn to recognize these plants and stay away from them. If you're not allergic today, that doesn't mean it's always going to stay that way. You can change reactions as you get older. And also keep in mind that it's poisonous when it's actively growing and when it's dormant. Don't burn it. Be careful with weed eating or mowing it because the oils in the foliage is what you're allergic to. And as you break up that tissue, that oil can be in all parts of the plant. So learn to recognize it. Get rid of it from your yard and try to stay clean. As soon as you get into it, be sure you wash your hands, any exposed parts of your body with soap and water to try to cut down on your allergic reactions. If you do end up getting poison ivy, there's lots of home remedies, but the main thing is to talk with your doctor because we all have varying degrees of, of allergic response. Some people have to, have to go in for shots while others calamine lotion takes care of it. So it's an individual response. If you have poison ivy growing in your flower beds, there's really not a whole lot you can use except to spot spray with something like Roundup. Be sure that you only spray the plants you're trying to kill, not the desirable vegetation. And you can pull it up, but be aware that we want to try to kill it as it's heading into late summer, early fall, and that will send more of the chemicals down into the root system and give you better kill. Spraying in the spring of the year oftentimes is sort of a, sort of a band-aid approach. Burns it back a little bit, but it can bounce back. To learn more, contact your county extension agent and follow the links in this section.